Hi, this is Dean Eli again. I want to give you an update on what's going on at the college. As mentioned previously, on March 20th, we drafted and sent a letter to the State Board of Nursing on behalf of nursing schools in Colorado to obtain a waiver to modify some of the rules and regulations needed for pre-licensure program completion. In this letter, we ask the State Board of Nursing to decrease clinical hours, increase the use of simulation, and allow use of telehealth and volunteer experiences for clinical credit. These modifications, if approved, would help all of our undergraduate students to continue the progression of the program completion in a timely manner. On March 27, we submitted a waiver specific to our college, to the board as well. Lobbyists for the university, together with healthcare partners and educators in the community and state, in addition to the governor's office, are supporting our efforts to make modifications to the state board rules and regulations needed for all of our undergraduate students to progress and complete their program in a timely manner. The news media is also covering this story. We are hopeful that we will see a response from the board soon. Once we hear, we will convey the information promptly. We know all of you want to start your professional nursing career as soon as possible, and we want to help make this happen. For our graduate students, we are looking at potentially making program plan changes, such as switching fall didactic courses with summer clinical course, scheduling simulation clinicals where they meet credential requirements, and using telehealth clinical experiences. Our ability to make up any missed clinical hours is dependent on the current rules and regulations related to licensing and accrediting bodies. Each specialty director will be working with students if there are any program plan changes. In addition to our efforts on, on behalf of students, our faculty have been asked by the state to provide helpful resources for the public at large, including a video series that Dr. S Scott Harpin created answering questions like, am I sick? How can I tell? How to prevent the spread of virus in your home? The series are available on our website and social media channels. On the clinical side, our faculty and staff are hard at work ramping up telemedicine operations at Sheridan Health Services, Bellevue Point, Campus Health Center, and our Centers for Midwifery Clinics in Longmont, Longtree, UC Health, University of Colorado Hospital, and University Hospital Midwives. Our clinics are being both resourceful and innovative. They are offering medication shipping and delivery services at Sheridan Health Pharmacy and parking lot care at Sheridan and the Center for Midwifery in Longmont, thereby ensuring the patients are limiting contact with each other while receiving the care they need. Even our living legends, Loretta Ford and Jean Watson, are participating by hosting an upcoming viral virtual film festival highlighting documentaries that our own alumni, Dr. Sue Hagedorn, created. Stay tuned for more information on that. Our students, alumni, and retired faculty are volunteering in mass, and we stand ready to help fight this pandemic together. If you are on the front lines in any capacity, we sincerely thank you. The university and its alumni relations department has organized a campaign to thank and encourage healthcare workers on the front lines. If you want to participate, please visit our website at www.nursing.cuanchutes.edu or our Facebook page at Facebook dot com backslash CU College of Nursing, where links are provided. We are continuing our I am a CU nurse campaign. Please forward any stories you have of your efforts. It's times like this that we need to uplift each other. Please know we are thinking of you and your families. 
Online support groups are available to have, help connect you with others and processes some of the events that are occurring. Resources are located at our website at nursing.cuanschutz.edu backslash coronavirus. These are very interesting times, but ones we will overcome together. Ultimately, the patients and frontline providers are first and foremost in our minds as nursing programs across the nation work through these challenging times. We want to thank you again for your patience and resiliency. We will continue to keep you updated with these video announcements. Take care and be safe.